at YouTube Wheelchair 21 and coming off of a bad movie review like Death Kappa because it was so damn short, I'm uploading the second one in the same day. Uh, and ironically, it, by this time when I upload it, it'll be November 3rd. And 56 years ago, the King of the Monsters was in theaters with the original Gojira. And this is no ordinary D Doyle's DVDs because in this episode, it's not just Gojira, it's Gojira Final Wars. Double feature, the original and the 50th anniversary. Ironically, the reason I wanted to do this because I have to mention the fact that at the very end of Death Kappa in the final fight, they fight inside of a wrestling ring like style because they have their little freaking power lines looking like it was a six sided ring, like a TNA ring, and freaking Death Kappa hits an FU on the monster, and I just. It just sucked, and I'm gonna go on with Godzilla. The original Gojira. The classic. Yeah. Not the one with Raymond Burr, not freaking Ironside, no, the original. Well, the original, let's just say, has to do about anti-nuclear war. It's all on preventing nuclear war, such and such. Um, Ishiro Honda and uh, Eiji Tetsubaya came together and they're like, we want to make this movie, we want to uh, really hit things off, we want to just get this out there. So it's not a sci-fi movie, it's really a horror movie when it first came out. And the fact of the matter was, was they wanted to just try to embody a creature that could come out of the effects of the atom bomb and the H-bomb, and that's practically how it was. And also while filming this movie, when they are planning of how they wanted the areas and cities that they wanted to destroy, People didn't know that they were going to make a movie and such, and they ended up actually, actually getting thrown out of places just for the fact that people misheard what they were saying when they said they wanted to destroy buildings and such. Um, so that was a very um, comical thing that I discovered while reading about how this movie came into existence. Uh, the movie plot is that mysteriously fishing fishing crews and their ships are getting attacked and uh, off the shore of a small island and I, the islanders on the small island out off Japan think it's the monster uh, mythical monster called Gojira eventually um, a group of scientists go out to the island and discover this prehistoric mutinized monster that came back to life and they want to uh figure out why it's there, how it came to existence, and they find out it's due to the age bomb, it's wiping out stuff, and it's becoming an issue. And it's a threat to society. Um, as they figure this out, Godzilla comes off of the, uh, like, leaves his home of the Oto Island, and goes to main mainland Japan, and begins attacking it, and destroying it, and... At the same time, a doc one uh, paleontologist, Dr. Yamine, wants to preserve Godzilla to an extent that it can still live without it destroying the destroying the Earth itself, or Japan, let alone. Where at the same time, people want it dead, and uh, they have no way to kill it because it's an effective for all weapons. Uh, eventually, they discover Dr. Sarazawa, who was originally... A scientist that one time most likely worked with the Nazis invented a power super weapon called the Oxygen Destroyer, which can practically kill anything, anything that uses oxygen and take the oxygen out of the body. And they decide to destroy the monster with that. And in doing so, Dr. Sarazawa, knowing he's created such a weapon, chooses to take his own life along with the monster in the climax of the film. The film, it's... The film itself is a very, um, sends a very powerful message to those who view it for the movie, for what it's supposed to show the movie, tell what happened, uh, just portray the problems that happened in Japan because of the testing during uh, World War II, the nuclear bombings and the testing offshore. 
And when the movie came out, ironically, uh, a fish, a fisherman from the Lucky Dragon died recently from the aftershock of the H bomb. So a lot of people saw this as a very moving film, and it had a very um, all star cast for to oh, for Toho's uh, employees. Like it had, uh, as I'm reading this, I had to punch it up so I can make sure I pronounce the names right. Takashi Shimura, who just came off of the international classic Seven Samurai. Akihiko Hirata, who played Dr. Sarazawa. Uh, he'd go into play Ultraman. He'd almost, uh, he was originally intended to come back for 1985, 1984, but died of uh, lung cancer. Uh, Momo, Momoko Koichi, who played Emiko Yamane, Dr. Yamane's wife. And Akira Takarada, who played Ogata. The, uh, uh, Emiko's, uh, fiance. Um, and the ever popular Arun Najime as Godzilla. Um, so it really had a very, um, it just really was made to send a message and was never intended to have a sequel, even though at one point Dr. Mane says that mankind continues to develop weapons of mass destruction and another Godzilla may be awakened. And ironically, over the next 50 years, the monster just kept coming back. Well, anyways, by his 50th birthday, Toho wanted to finally give Godzilla a true retirement. Or at least, a Japanese retirement. And in doing so, they created Final Wars. Which brought together a shitload of monsters to get killed by Godzilla in one movie. I think I t tallied up, I think, 12 monsters to get killed by Godzilla in the movie, if you double count Monster X since it evolves into uh, King Ghidorah in the movie. Uh, okay. So Final Wars' plot is not liked by many fans, yet it's also loved by many fans. Um, because the plot itself really, it's not that great. It's just, just, it goes in and out, and not many of the original scores made by Akira Fube are used in the movie, and not much is really there except for the suits and some of the actors, because Kenji Sahara comes back, and a few other actors of the old Godzilla days comes back, uh, like, uh, like Kazuki Kitamura, and I'm trying to read this right, sorry. I, I can't really make out the name right now because I can't figure out uh, the character because they just called her uh, General in the show. So I can't really remember her actual name, but she she was a previous Godzilla actor, actress in Godzilla movies. Um, Final Wars, its plot is that Exilians come to take over the Earth while monsters inhabit it. Uh, Godzilla's been frozen for the past 50 years since its original appearance. Uh, and all hell breaking loose. Kakure Black got gone bad because he was a mutant that's now being controlled by the Exilians and all this weird stuff. It's like that Batra Mothra symbol symbolism is really Gigan versus Mothra in this one and Angulus and all these monsters are just pure evil and out to get Godzilla this time around. And this time uh, Godzilla just goes through them, plows through them all, kills them. And then they find out that this Exilian mutant hybrid on Earth is going to become a super Exilian. And so he and the uh, Exilian have like this Dragon Ball Z-like battle where they just beat the crap out of each other. And then Godzilla's beating the crap out of the monster. The monster evolves into King Ghidorah. And then the mutant gives its super energy to Godzilla to finish off the monster where now all of Earth's population is pretty much slimmed out. It's pretty much like Independence Day meets Destroy All Monsters meets... Dragon Ball Z meets, I don't know, like other tokusatsu, and that's what you get. You get this super crossover awesome film, which is loved and hated by fans. I love it just for the fact that there's a 30 second fight between Zilla and Godzilla, the American version, and Godzilla just rips Zilla a new one while they play uh, We're All to Blame by Sum 41 in the background. A lot of fans love that part. Every fan loves that part about the movie. 
but they just don't love the movie in general. It's about a 50-50 from what I've found out, or at least a 45-55 percentage difference. Uh, it's a great one. The suits are magnificent for the movie. The special effects, um, in and out, go in and out. Uh, I mean, anytime that technically monster suits get burned, blown up, and bleeding, usually are good in cases as this movie had it. Um, some of the monsters brought back for the movie are kind of stupid. I can understand why they brought back Manda to fight uh, the uh, Tang and Tango, uh, Tango, Go Tango. Uh, I could see why they brought in Mothra, Angulus, and Rodan. I don't understand why they brought back King Caesar. I don't understand why they really brought back Macris and Kamunga, except that they're easy kills for Godzilla. Ebra, another easy kill. Hedra, I don't understand where the hell Hedra even came out of. But you could see since the Earth is now like futuristic slightly that you could see that Sludge monster coming back. Uh, ironically, most of the monsters in the movie, if you ever pay attention to like who played who, you see that a majority of the monsters in the movie were played just by like three of the cast stunt not cast members but the stunt cast team and just played different roles. Like Godzilla was the only just the whole movie it was uh, Tetsutomo Kitagawa was Godzilla, but uh, Kazuhiro Yoshida was Gigan and Hedra, or Toshiro Uragara was Kaiser Gija, Angurus, and Abra in the movie. So, I mean, these guys were issued multiple roles, meaning they had to go through a lot more than regular uh, cast members had to most likely go through for their special effects fight scenes and such. Um, except for, I guess, you would have to say Mashiro Matsuko, uh, and, uh, Ken Kus Kusugi, other places they call him Kusanagi, uh, and, I mean, it was well done, I mean, hmm. Kazuki Kitamura was not the main antagonist, okay, was the main antagonist and wasn't the original exilian leader that was killed, the exilian general, who was an original Godzilla, um, was, a, was an original Godzilla movie uh, veteran, was actually Masato Eve. I just read the Exilian and just saw who was who. Uh, even though the movies are great, uh, 50th anniversary, this is now the 56th anniversary technically of Godzilla when I upload this tomorrow, which will be November 3rd. Other than that, I just had to do that because I needed a little extra time because Death Kappa was just a ranting of me cursing and swearing about how bad the movie was, and, I mean, it was a horrible movie, anyone else who chooses to get the movie, uh, it's only $13 in your local FYE, most likely, at least, FYE.com, and, please be warned, when buying Death Kappa, you want to kill yourself, but by the end you see that movie, or actually kill the team that created it, it's just bad, that's all I can say, I guess, other than that. I don't know what the next upload will be after this. I still have to take a few. So, yeah. I'm falling behind. I did shave my head. <laughs>